Good morning, Long Beach High School. Today is Tuesday, August 22nd, and, and this, this is, is LBTV. We're excited to announce a winning fundraising opportunity to kick off this school year. Our school was chosen by our community's local Winn-Dixie to participate in the school partnership program. Until August 29th, customers will be invited to donate to our school. Customers can simply round up their grocery total or donate at checkout and purchase a reusable community bag. One dollar of every bag purchased comes to the school. The funds raised will help purchase supplies, programs, and rewards. Be sure to tell your friends and family to round up at checkout. Thanks for you and your support, and we'll see you at Winn-Dixie. The Jack Kent Cook College Scholarship is a program that's opening on Thursday. This is one of the largest undergraduate scholarship programs in the nation. It provides up to $55,000 per year for four years of study for high achieving high school seniors with financial need. The Cook Foundation College Scholars are selected based in exceptional academic ability and achievement, financial need, persistence, service to others, and leadership. To be eligible, applicants must plan to graduate in the spring of 2024 have a minimum GPA of 3.5 and demonstrate unmet financial need. For more information, go to the Google Classroom. You can also apply for the Superintendent's Student Advisory Council, or the SSAC. The SSAC is a way for students to better provide engagement and leadership development for their peers. It will also allow students to voice their opinions in a district's decision making. All members will have to attend quarterly meetings as scheduled during the academic year. Other uses for the SSAC may be identified by the superintendent. Talk to Ms. Tucker for any additional information or to get an application. All high school students are eligible to apply, and all applications must be turned into Ms. Tucker by Thursday. Any students who are not in the PSAT class who are interested in taking the PSAT NMSQT on October 26th, please, me si please see Ms. Pelez in the counseling office. The cost will be $18, and the deadline to sign up and pay is August 31st. The Gates Scholarship, or TGS, is a highly selective last dollar scholarship for outstanding minority high school seniors from low income households. To be eligible, you must have a cumul cumulative weighted GPA of 3.3 on a 4.0 scale and plan to enroll in a four year program at accredited university and from at least one of the following ethnicities. Applications are available here and you must apply by September 15th. The Long Beach High School and the Get to, Cal Get to College Center will host a presentation for seniors and parents in the PAC. On Thursday, two sessions will be offered, the first one running from 10.30 to 11.30 and the second one running from 5.30 to 6.30. Students and parents will learn about the importance of planning during the senior year and understanding the whole college process. The topics will include the college planning timeline, choosing a college, the college admissions process, campus tours, the importance of the ACT, scholarship searches, and federal and state financial needs basics. Parents are encouraged to attend one of the sessions, but all seniors will attend the morning session. The Mississippi Department of Education, or MDE, allows juniors and seniors to apply to the 2023-24 to State Superintendent Student Advisory Council. Applications must be sent in via mail and postmarked by Friday, September 8th. The purpose of the council is to provide a forum for Mississippi students to offer diverse perspectives to the State Superintendent of Education. The selected students will act as representatives of public schools to the MDE. Who are you wish you were big? I'm Jayla Lagarde, and this is Art World. So today, we interview Miss Carney. She is the new choir director. Two questions we asked her was, why did she transfer to LB, and did she attend a different school before? Well, here she is to tell you. 
Years and years ago, back in 1988, I actually started my teaching career here in Long Beach, and um, I taught here three years at Harvard McConnell Elementary School, and so I've had thir over 30 years worth of experience teaching, but um, when the job came open, uh, I, I jumped at it because it's a great district and it has a wonderful reputation for great choirs. So. I worked at Madison Central High School, and I've also worked at Clinton Junior High and Petal um, Junior High. What are you looking forward to the most, Miss Carney? And when is choir's first concert? i enjoying getting to know my students, and I'm looking forward to all the great concerts that we're going to get ready to have. And so the class has been great, and things are going really, really well. So I can't wait till the first concert. The concert is on October the 15th. It's on a Sunday afternoon now. It's been bumped around a little bit because of other activities, but um, it'll be the 15th and they're doing a various songs, spirituals, a gospel song, um, a Latin piece, uh, a fun kind of pop piece as well. Um, they'll be featured, the choir will be featured as well as all the small ensembles such as the mix ensemble, the madrigals, the sextet, the quartet, both quartets. There's a women's quartet and a men's quartet. So they'll be featured as well. Support us, come to our concerts. The calendar is on our webpage. You can see all the wonderful things that we're doing and see our wonderful students at work and how they shine. So, thanks. It was delightful to meet you, Ms. Carney. And to Long Beach students, I hope that y'all attend a choir concert, because I definitely will. Bye. The Coca-Cola Scholars Program is for seniors. Students are recognized for their ability to lead, serve, and commit to making an impact in their communities. 150 students are selected per year to receive a $20,000 scholarship. To apply, visit the website on screen. And my name is Kavion Smyers. And this is your sports. Volleyball last game, we won three against zero against Van Cleve. And right about upcoming this game is Pasigula. To next Tuesday. Last Friday, football had a jamboree game, and here's Russell with RJ to talk about it. Welcome back, y'all. Today I'm here with RJ. And today I'm asking him a few questions about the jamboree game. Question one How did this game match your expectations? Well, of course, we went out there and we was expecting to win, but eh, it was a little mishaps on defense and stuff like that, and everything. And our head wasn't in the game. Head wasn't in the game. Question two, what can you fix from last game until your next one? Defense. We just got to get after it, and we just got to stay focused. All right, for question number three, how do you expect to do against pass this upcoming Friday? Hey, man. I think we're going to catch the dub. I think we're going to catch the dub. Think catch the dub? Yeah, we're going to get out there. We're going to do our thing, and yeah. All right, that's it, y'all. Thank you. Football having a away game against Pass Friday, so come out and support the Long Beach Bearcats. And this is your sports. I'm Dominic Rayner. And I'm Camden Shortridge. And this has been LBTV Rockin' Out. Rockin out.